I'm going to apologize in advance. I have to be phony. Not that I'm going to get not going to give you how I really feel, but I did another take of this. I can't put that version out there. Where the kicks at? Where the pains? Where the holes? Where the throws? You know what I'm saying? So I can't do that. But what I will say is this. While I understand the spirit behind why the principal in Houston, Texas, at James Madison Middle School, middle school was that Houston, Texas? Jocelyn Lewis is a big Marilyn Monroe fan and is in the process of getting her hair done, which is why she has it covered. I can see if it's a student. Yes, they have a dress code. I understand that, but I'm not a student, so I have no dress code. No more do-rags, curlers, sagging pants at her high school, okay? So who are you to tell me how to dress? Monday morning, Jocelyn says she unenrolled her daughter from Lamar High School so she could transfer the 15-year-old to Madison High School. When I went to Lamar, I had no problem. But when I was, got to Madison High School, they refused me access to the premises because of what I had on. Jocelyn alleges the administrator disapproved of her outfit. It would be like this. I, martial arts instructor, run a class, okay? I run a class out of an institution that's for the community, much like a school. If I try to make the parents wear uniforms to parents who are not students, and I made them bow, parents, not students, parents who are not students, because sometimes some of the parents do take classes from time to time. If I made parents who are not also students and spouses and siblings, if I made them bow when they came in inside the training area, and I made them call me sir, and I made them call me senior master. I made them call me soke. I made them call me sabunim. You would think I was crazy and that I lost my mind. That standard should apply here too. Because the principal is in charge of the children. The principal is not in charge of the parents. Now, are the parents expected to behave a certain way and be respectful and not be disruptive? Yes. Yes, the principal is in charge of the children. The principal is not in charge of the parents. Unless I missed the memo that says that the principal is supposed to tell parents what to do, like they're the students, then, you know, hey, it sounds a little bit much to me. The, you know, the only way I could see it is if you said maybe for graduation you want everyone to dress up but i've been to plenty of graduations where you see people dress all levels of dress from blue jeans to suits and there's no problem if you want them to not be a distraction or be disruptive that's one thing but telling parents how to dress while i understand you want all the adults to set good examples and you feel like we should try to put our best foot forward for our children in the community, I'm all for that. I'm all for you can't just walk up in a teacher's classroom when they're having class and interrupt and things of that nature. You can't be disruptive. You can't be fighting on campus. That's fine. But again, it's just like me making parents address me by my martial arts titles, making the parents who are not students come in and bow. I tell them not to do that. I tell parents, people who are not enrolled, my name is Cecil. Child, I'm Mr. Cecil or Mr. Washington. Because the principal is in charge of the students. And when the principal has a problem with the student's behavior or performance, then the principals can inform the parents and together they should be helping the children. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and current events. And leave your comments below. I know you will. And peace. But seriously, thank you for your time.